Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to see how to create a quite complex watch product with several customization options and features. For this kind of product, you must understand that there is quite some work to be done to generate the necessary images using a third-party tool like Photoshop. In our case, we have worked on the Photoshop file to extract layers of the final image. As you can see, each element of the final image is in a separate layer. This is a very important step to generate the necessary images. You can notice that for some elements, we also made masks. Masks are going to be used by color fields to colorize each part of the watch. After exporting each layer, we now have all kind of images that we will use in the app. Let's start by creating the Shopify product. custom digital watch we can upload a featured image and set the price to $300 hit save as expected the product doesn't have any customization options yet so let's go over to the app and start adding options new customization options we want to apply these options to a specific product not a whole collection of products so choose specific product type in watch to find the product we want the options of this product to generate a live preview so let's check this box by default, it uses the product's featured image as the base image. In our case, we don't want that. We will upload our own base image, which consists of only the watch case, since the band is going to be customizable. The first option we will provide is the ability to choose a type of band for the watch. So let's add a drop down menu field. We will provide three types leather, plastic, and metal. We will increase the price by $10 for leather and $20 for metal. Let's check the effect life preview box to overlay the right band for each option. Our bands are transparent images with the same size as the base image. We can start uploading them. Now let's align them. Since they have the same size as the base image, this step is very straightforward. This first field is now complete, so we need to create the color fields for each band. Let's start with the leather color field. We will provide two color choices, brown leather and white leather. This color field needs to colorize the band, 
So let's check the effect life preview box. We already prepared the mask for the leather band so we only need to upload it. Notice that right now on the preview box the color is applied directly on the base image. In the actual product the color will be applied on the base image with the leather band appended to it. We will follow the same procedure for plastic band and metal bands. Awesome, we've now added the options for the bands and we can now add another color field for the case metal color. It is the same procedure as the previous color fields. Add a new option, color field, watch case color, three possible variations, yellow gold, rose gold and silver we can copy the values from the previous option effect live preview Upload the mask, watch mask. Awesome. For this one, the live preview actually works. Finally, for this product, we will provide two more customization fields for upsells. An optional air power charging device and an extended warranty for the product. For the air power charging device, let's add a checkbox field. This optional device will increase the price by $20. When checked, we want to add a thumbnail of the air power charger to the live preview. So check the effect live preview box and upload the image. We can tweak where we want it to be displayed. And we're done for this option. Finally, let's add an extended warranty drop down field. One year, two years, and three years. For every year of extended warranty, we want to increase the price by 10%. This field do not affect the live preview, so we're done with it. We have added all the fields we wanted and we can proceed to the next page. Right now, there are no conditional logic which means that all fields are always displayed. What we want is that the right color field is displayed when a band is selected. In other words, we want to display the leather color field when the band type is set to leather. The same goes for plastic, 
and for metal. Perfect, we have now completed all the steps and the product is now ready. Hit save. We can preview the final result. Awesome, the options are loaded and the live preview works perfectly. Conditional logic works very well too. The price is properly calculated. We can proceed and add the product to the cart. Notice that our app will automatically add the live preview image to the cart. This way, while fulfilling the orders, you will be able to see the final result. Also, on a more technical aspect, you should note that our app will create a temporary hidden product when the customer will add a custom priced product. This product is not visible on your store and will be automatically deleted soon after it is created. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you soon.